Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. You have equaled Mario Kid. You can play here anytime. Yes, I will. So here we go, the 18 hole version of Golf Crew's Pitch and Putt without the death of well, I should say the evil of needing to be on in one and one putt. So this is a more casual round through Golf Guru's Pitch and Putt. So we start out with the first hole, the original Golf Guru's Pitch and Putt. And it looks like I'm gonna get a birdie, which pleases me pretty well. By the way, for some reason this doesn't have any birdie badges, I don't know why, but whatever. <laughs> So, now look at this, see this second hole? You recognize the screen, right? Well, we're hitting to it from the teeing area where the first hole is. Yeah, this is how this course does 18 holes. It makes you hit to greens at all sorts of different angles that you haven't hit to before. And you might have been able to uh, tell that they were going to do this from a prior run, uh, if you managed to you know, get that far. In, well, I, well, you probably did get that far, because even if you flubbed your run through Golf Guru's Pitch and Putt, you could still play through the run. But like the fourth hole, it had there's all this fairway over to the left of the green. It looked like another hole entirely, but you never played that hole in that direction. So yeah, that, that's what this course does. It has you play holes in all sorts of different ways. And uh, this is going to be dicey. <laughs> this course is actually, if you're trying to make a good score on it, it's probably one of the hardest courses in the game, if not the hardest course in the game to get a good score on. Because, you know, par threes are always the most hard to get birdies on to begin with. But when you're when you're trying to get really, really tight up in the holes, it's... Yeah, it's not really all that easy to... to birdie these things consistently, so it's just a matter of doing the best you possibly can, and hopefully, hopefully getting a couple holes and ones along the way. <laughs> um, that looks good, I think. I'm not gonna hit it at full, though. By the way, the fourth hole here is the same as the the second hole, the regular Golf Guru's Pitch and Putt uh, Course of Death, but much more casual tone. Complete with the more casual music. <laughs> like you might have noticed that it was the it's the more overworld music type of thing when you're in the practice areas. Yep. Oh geez, genius's hat. Here we go. Here we go. Actually, this shouldn't be that bad because uh, it's it, the wind isn't all that high, and uh, thus I can predict the landing a lot easier. Here we go. I think I gotta hit this pretty far off to the right. Probably, maybe, might be. Oh, 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 oh! Aww. Now I would have been disqualified if that was the regular the golf gurus pitch and putt chorus. <laughs> All right. Ah, this is the one I was talking about. See this? All the fairway got what was unused on the uh, golf gurus pitch and putt. Well, it is actually used for this hole. Yep. So you can now run it up to the hole if you would like to. But for me. I like to drop it down high and soft, if at all possible. And there we go. Now, let's see if I can make this putt. I probably can make this putt. This seems to be a kind of putt that I can make. And sure enough, I made that putt. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh-oh. <laughs> this could be ugly. It's genius's hat from a different angle. Okay, that's good. <laughs> I think I can make that. Just a little teensy tiny bit to the right. Hit about there and power and the brake should turn it. Yeah. The ball actually went through the edge of the hole there a little bit, so it kind of glitched graphically, but that's cool. <laughs> and I'll hit there and a little backspin and it should land high and soft because of the wind. Ooh, 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 a little bit long. I would have been disqualified, but no, no, this is a casual run through this course of death. <laughs> Alright. I think I'm gonna hit maybe about there because of the bunker and wind combined. Yeah, I, was, I wasn't really too sure about that. But that's alright. Oh, by the way, that one up mushroom in the locker room. I'm not sure if it's really there, and maybe I was just remembering wrong, because you see, off-camera, 
I was doing some tests uh, of on my actual real deal Game Boy cartridge of checking those lockers after every tournament, and I still couldn't find any one up mushroom there. And, and as you know, the the main changes happen after tournaments, so yeah. <laughs> so I don't know why I was thinking there was a one up mushroom there because there might just might not be a one up mushroom there after all. So yeah, I don't really think there is one there. But anyway, this hole is kind of diabolical um, when you're not... I mean, when you're hitting to this hole from that side, because you're almost better off hitting behind the hole, I mean, behind the green, because there's very little green to work with. But that's the idea here of the Gokuru's Pitch and Putt, is to put you in all sorts of awkward situations that test you in every way, shape, and form. Uh, how about this? Maybe a little bit more. Yeah, this looks... No, 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 wait, wait, how about, like, uh, there, there, that's good. I'm gonna hit there, and hope that it lands on the green. It should land on the green. And a little bit long, so maybe I should have aimed a little bit more to the right. But, it's a casual run through these holes, so we don't have to worry about the death that is the one-on-one -on -one putt challenge. Just enjoy your pitch and putt run <laughs> at this super secret, incredibly difficult to unlock course. <laughs> Playing this course is a privilege because of how difficult it is to be able to unlock it. At least in my opinion. <laughs> mm, it's gonna be a little bit long, I think. Oh, that's not bad though. Even if it's in the semi rough, I can. I could still put it in, but not even in the semi-rough, it's on the green edge! Which would have disqualified me, but nope, nope, nope. <laughs> I'm good. I'm more interested in the total score than the whole one-on-one -on -one putt challenge, in all honesty, but that one-on-one -on -one putt challenge was quite a doozy in itself. And by the way, hitting to this green from this angle is a little bit tricky, <laughs> but yeah, I managed to do it. The, the reason why it's tricky is because you're hitting to the thin side rather than the, the long side, like from the other side. But, uh, I manage. I manage. And now you got this hole from this side. This should be pretty easy. It's a lot different than hitting to this hole from the other side, isn't it? Mmm. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Don't even have to move the cursor at all. Just hit it 10 feet. And she goes in. <laughs> Alright. Oh boy. I'd be worried about this if this was the one-on-one -on -one put challenge. <laughs> oh shoot! Wow, I, I, I really missed it that because I laughed. Uh, well. I can sort of get away with that though. Sort of, kind of. Maybe? We're gonna see right here, right now. Uh, yep, I got away with it. <laughs> There we go. Now, this hole from the other side is the one that we had to hit to on the Golf Guru's Pitch and Putt Challenge of Doom! But here... Oh wow, that was nice. <laughs> uh, but here, you can be a little more... I guess you could say... closer. Like, even if you hit in the semi-rough, you can do the chip-in thing. But, you know, you can't do that on the actual challenge challenge. All right. This screen is the last screen on the original challenge. Hitting to it at a different angle. Not too difficult. And I'm not gonna move the cursor at all because I think it's gonna, yeah, it's gonna bend just right. And now we hit to this screen from the other side. Yeah, it's this teeing area. This would normally be hit to the uh, ninth hole there. Uh, but, 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 but. That's not how it works here, oh no! Nah, I'm kind of between clubs, so I'm gonna hit there with backspin. And let her fly. This is gonna be just fine. Ooh, almost bounced in! <laughs> I, I, at, for a second there I thought it was gonna bounce in, but nope, it didn't. Hmm. And now we hit to that green from that same teeing area to make up the ninth hole. Uh, that should be good with a little backspin, and one notch off the max. 
yeah, one notch off the max does pretty well, I have to say. Ooh, 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 ooh! It touched the hole a little bit because you've seen it bend. Ah! Oh. Well, that's not bad. 14 under par? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. Ho, 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 ho. Yeah, you get experience points for playing this course, too. I think I'm going to increase that. There we go. And we're done here! <laughs> well, actually, I could go back and get the other, uh, bird, I mean, birdie the other holes if I wanted to. But what I think I'm going to do here, uh, for now, is check out the dialogue going on here. Because I only really talked to Genius's dialogue. I mean, seen Genius's dialogue. So let's chat with the other three here. I guess all I can do is admit you're the best. Be sure to be the first grand champ to beat Mario. Uh, I will be. I guess he didn't hear yet. <laughs> Congratulations on the championship, kid. The way you handled your clubs, I knew you'd take it. Thank you. Thank you. You showed him in a Lynx tournament, kid. Now I want to see you beat Mario. <laughs> Alright, so let's see what these guys have to say. It's the, the ex-club champs. <laughs> well, why are they reserved for them and not some other champ, you know, like me? It's, it's kind of crazy if you think about it. <laughs> well, whatever. The ex-club champs are in the lounge again today. They're always in the lounge. You took the grand champion title. You finally reached golf's pinnacle of success. Mm, yes, I have. Mm, mm, let's say no this time. Alright, I will go later. Wink, wink. <laughs> Alright, so... With that, I'm gonna end off the part here. But there's more. What? There's more, you might be asking. Yeah, um, I'm planning on doing some other stuff around here, like, say, getting the birdie badges that I missed. I wasn't initially planning on doing that, but... Uh, I thought because people haven't really seen people get all the birdie badges legit in this game, you know, without the save and quit trick, I thought I would show that off. As well as, um, I'll probably do an, at least one more run at the Peach's Castle grounds, because, well, that course only gets one run through if you beat it on the first try, in terms of, you know, like, doing all the game's tasks, so... It's kind of weird, that course doesn't get all that much love. <laughs> As a matter of fact, the regular Mario characters are uh, pushed off to the side quite a bit in this very unique Mario game in favor of all uh, new characters for this game. So maybe that's why. Maybe they wanted to keep things as fresh as possible here. And they, they wanted to stray you from the typical Mario things, including the, uh, um, including the shaped holes of Mario's characters. <laughs> or something like that. I don't know, but... Yeah, I mean, I suppose. You, whoops, I didn't mean. I keep getting stuck on this guy, and, and when you when you when you push against someone, you end up talking to them. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. You get what I'm saying here. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part. Let's do a couple more laps so I fade to black. <laughs>